Okay, I'm back. I'm alone in the house and it's Sunday morning, 11.22, the 25th of July 21. And I've just realized, I'm um, realized, sorry, English, please English, grammatically correct English. I've realized I'm in fight or flight mode. Okay, like I was on my birthday, but in a different way. I'm back at home, or I should feel safe. I've just had a conversation with the wonderful people who live with me. And uh, we have strongly disagreed with each other about worldviews. Uh, that uh, I am now feeling highly stressed about, okay? So, it doesn't matter who's right and who's wrong. Really, that does not matter. What matters is, how do I get myself uh, from that state? My heart is pounding a bit. I feel very unnerved. I feel slightly shaky, very unsafe. And I feel time is running out. Okay. Uh, it's only running out because it's Sunday and it will be Sunday night and it will be soon Monday morning. So how do I deal with myself when I am in that place and I feel extremely... Um, how do I feel? Okay, I feel, um, I feel alone, but that's okay, that's fine. Um, I feel I'm the only one to think that way, but that's not true. There's many people out there who would agree of the point of view I have been discussing with them. I'm not going to talk about that. That's not the problem. The problem is how we feel inside towards the events of the world. It's not really the events themselves. I mean, whether we can go in a shop if we've had a vaccination or not, a vaccination is a matter, you know. We might not be able to go into shops if we've not been to the doctors to get the injections, but so be it. Okay, fair enough. Um, um, oh my God, there's so much stress. Now my thoughts are going to the planet. You know, what if half the population dies? What if, who will, um, you know, work the machines? Who will do the specialized jobs if they've died? Who will look after the power stations, who will look after electricity, the mobile masts, the videos, you know. Um, okay, but this is not a problem. The problem is the thoughts are going somewhere where I do not want them to go. To go. So first thing for the fight or flight is we turn to back flower remedies. That's the first thing I can do in this case. See if it aids the mental thing oh, la, la. Mm, okay this is um, flower extracts in alcohol seven drops under the tongue three times a day acute cases one dose every 15 minutes reduce with improvements uh, it's got daisy bell heather scottish primrose and thistle and organic brandy. Okay. Do I feel any change right now? I actually feel like I'm a little bit less shaky of the here. I feel like a bit more grounded here on the shoulders. However, I look around me in the kitchen. And I go back to thinking, shit, where do I start? Okay, do you want to see what's in the kitchen? <laughs> you don't want to see what's in the kitchen, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, we have in the kitchen some parcels. One has been opened and not finished with. One hasn't been opened. We've got some uh, fruit and things. We've got some tiny bananas. They're amazing. Where's the camera? Oh, it's there. 
Okay, we've got tiny bananas, we've got mangoes, we've got a load of passion fruits that need to be processed. We've got two custard apples, beautiful, they need to be processed as well and frozen for my chocolate. And we've got some chiku fruit that are very ripe and they need processing. And I've got something who knows what is it, probably a spider web. Yes, we've got spiders as well. And we've got a lot of cardamom seeds that we need to grind. Well, we don't need to grind all of them right now, but we need to grind some of those. We've got a sealer here that's broken. We don't know quite what's happening. That's my very good one that I've had for years. Unfortunately, I've dropped it several times. It's broken there. And I need to open it up to see what's going on inside Why it's not activating. Oops, that's fallen on the floor. And we've got a non-working impulse sealer. Uh, the eBay gentleman or person hasn't got back to us yet about a video that had 165 views. We are very interested in non-working sealers, aren't we? Well, we are, I am. So, so we've got that, we've got some white sesame seeds. I like those particularly because they don't crunch under the tooth like the ones which are organic, which do feel funny under the tooth. So this is the state of the kitchen. It's actually not too bad. We've got, of course, a, a letter here from someone who is very kind, uh, who's saying that my reputation as a chocolatier is very high. However, if they saw the state I am now, they probably would go and buy chocolate somewhere else. And we've got a lot of silk clothes that have been donated by this baby lady which is very nice, but I've got to go through them and see, decide what I do with them and whether they're kept or given again. What is the state of the mount? Do we dare not? So not too bad. It's not too bad at all here. We're okay. Okay. So, are we the stress response now? Okay, the so stress response. <sighs> what do we do first? Okay, we're not about to die this very minute. Uh, the plague hasn't quite reached here yet. Um, we've got chocolates to make, we've got ingredients to process, we've got sleeves to sew, and <laughs> we've got one week to do everything, all we can for the coming um, thing. And um, okay, let's deal with ourselves the best we can. We are not losing our minds. If the French are losing their minds with whatever they're doing, in fact, the governments are probably all losing their minds. And it's okay, because uh, we don't know who's going to die. We don't know if I'll be alive next year. So let's seize the moment and enjoy our lives. And play a bit of piano with Topless Cecile, who's there showing uh, appendages off. However, just in case, oh no, not the however again, we've got to be careful with however. We show the backside so nobody complains about it is showing. The people oh, who are very kind whom I live with, they have gone out. So I can make some noise and not worry about being judged that I'm not doing any work. Yes! My dear piano, you are still damaged and you're still broken. Oh, you still work, so I'm going to give you a little play. Oh, beautiful piano, I'm so lucky to have you. You're all dusty, but that's okay too. Oh, beautiful piano.
we are still not very inspired with the piano. And we've not had any breakfast. Are we going to starve to death next year? Or are we just going to start looking after ourselves the best we can? You know, to go back to um, when we live around people and our views do not match. Yet we care for them so much. It does, does, does feel heavy. It, it is heavy to carry the fact that yes, we are maybe a bit different with our views, but why are you? Are we always ones who are in the minority? You know, it, it's quite. It's annoying after a while. I wish I could just belong to the popular opinions and feel really happy with it. And however, I don't agree with the popular opinions most of the time. And uh, yes, it feels isolating after a while. Because I don't understand how they cannot see what I can see. But we are all different. Therefore, it's quite normal that they can't see what they can see, the same way I can't see what they can see. See, I think of my history lessons, I think about how mankind has led itself into wars and things. And how has it started? What were the four signs? You know, I look at all that and I think, are we in that place where we're seeing the four signs again of? You know, the control going on to the people for for a flu. Maybe it is okay to 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 die for what we believe, but then why cause wars? I don't want to cause a war. Why should my opinion cause a problem anywhere? I don't mind what they think what they do, as long as they leave me alone and they do not force their choices on me to me. The same way as I, when I got a letter for the um, surgery for the fibroid the other day, I went quite mad at it. I thought, how dare they give me an appointment for this when I hadn't spoken to the doctor again about my concerns about the flu being in the hospitals and not wanting to catch it with a, a scar on my belly. How dared they give me an appointment without asking my opinion? I said I wasn't interested into having it anymore. Can't they leave me alone? You know, if I get a kidney failure because because the weight of it is causing problems with circulation, so be it, you know, it's okay. I have no dependents, I have no children, it's okay if I die, but it's okay if I live too. So how do I live this life if I choose to live, which I do, because I've really, I've got no choice other than living for the moment, because we don't know what the next moment is going to bring, and I bet the next moment He's going to bring a lot of happiness, I know so, and, uh, but I come back here and I feel shit, you know, I feel, I'm feeling a bit stuck, stuck with the business, I don't know, what do I do with it? But I can only do my best, and my best is deal with the moment, one moment at a time, eat when I can afford time to eat. Um, make videos which help me understand who I am. As I watch them again, I think, yeah, I can see the problem there. Let's do something about that. Have I done anything since my birthday that has made any improvements? I've had a lovely time in London. Um, yeah, I was looking forward to coming back, but the fact that I come back and and to hit this opposition of thoughts and thinking 
they are pro-vaccines. I'm anti-vaccine because it's caused me too much problem as a child to be vaccinated. I do not want it as an adult. I am a problem because they could refuse me to go into their house, as they rightly said. Okay, so be it, so be it. If, if my choices are going to push them to not keep me here, something will happen, I move out. Life will be different. I'll still carry on talking to myself. But in a way, I'm, I'm extremely sad because let's hope I'm wrong and that everybody else who thinks that way is wrong. But I believe the vaccine is going to cause more problems than the disease itself, really. But I should not really say that publicly because it will get me stunned to death one day. But who cares? Who cares? Who cares the cause of, like, the, you know, I've had enough of thinking. Life could be just a continuous suffering again and again. You know, like past lives have been suffering, I know it, because I've, I've chosen to suffer, it's, it's normal. We don't learn without suffering, but can we just stop suffering now? Maybe one day I will be pro-vaccine. Who knows, I mean, maybe I'll proudly show my damaged limbs for say you've beaten covid yeah i really should not talk about politics please don't talk about politics i get scared when you do you're scared aren't you Scared of rejection. Scared of being told to get out. <laughs> Wherever life takes me, I trust it is for the best. just wish it and to anyone watching this that life takes you to the best the best place you could ever be <laughs> I'm so scared of living it's so funny because it's what wishes death on you know when you're that scared of living you just want it to be finished <laughs> and I'm there looking at a mole on my leg which was not there 10 years ago and thinking oh my god is that it have I got skin cancer that's it I've got a few weeks to live <laughs> it's only a tiny mole it's not going to kill you I know but you know it's I've got to face myself when I'm in those states where my mind does not function like it should oh, but I feel really stuck I love here, I love it. But at the same time, I feel so much pressure. Yes, there is a fear of the, the future and, you know, the way society is going mostly. To be fair, I'm quite happy in one place. But it's a judgment, it's a judgment from others. I've had enough of it. But have I not enough of judging myself further? Why do I judge myself so much? Yesterday I had a great healing session. It was so helpful. It felt so peaceful. It showed me life could be totally different. That I could be a different person. But who could I be? I'm not too sure. I 
kötü laf atmışsındır. In the meantime, I still have a few hours today. And on the whole, I would say the flower of remedy has lessened the stress a little bit. But as I'm here surrounded by things that require my attention, including beautiful silk clothes, I'm losing it a bit. Some days I would like to throw everything away and end up with no possessions, nothing. Nothing so I don't have to worry about it anyway. But yet that's called homelessness and it's not a pleasant state. So I don't wish that into myself. I just wish peace of mind that the self that has optimism comes back into me. This thinking box I have refrained in the past doing videos of talking to myself when I was in a bad place because I did not want to show that bad place and I did not want to show opinions either about why I was in those bad places and also I do not want to linger and make it look like I make of myself a victim but maybe it is time to show myself who I really am. Also, because it is only another aspect of the personality of that human. And please do not ever mention the flu again. I don't want to know about it on my videos. There's enough shit going on on the media about it all. 